Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Dirty Bone, with another tutorial, a new one, since I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys asking me, hey, how are you playing uh, internet browser slash uh, web-based games slash, uh, you know, Ace of Spades on your PS3 slash Xbox controller? Well, it's very simple, actually. I just figured out, uh, I just found a program, actually, called DS3 Tool slash Motion Joy. And it's very simple to set up and um, such. And let me just get started with the tutorial. I'm going to show you. So you want to do first, you want to you know, get to the program. Get the program, you know, pretty much. So use any browser you have, whatever. I use Google Chrome, so it's whatever. Once you do that, you can go to Google or Bling, but I don't use that crap because it's retarded. So I use Google. And you want to type in this Motion Joy. It's going to be the first thing that pops up. You're going to click this. Once you click this, it's gonna show this. You're gonna go to downloads, and as you can see, it uh, you know you can use it on XP. You can use it on Vista, Windows 7, but I have Windows 7, so I'm just gonna download the Windows 7 one. I have 64-bit, and if you have 32-bit, you can click the same link. So uh, you click this one right here. It's gonna download right here in the bottom left bar, or wherever. And then once that happens, you're gonna open this up. Uh, since I already downloaded it, I don't really want to download it again. Uh, not because you have to do anything on drastic like restart your computer or anything. It's just I don't know. I don't want to kind of add more on to it because I don't have to fix in the future. Anyway, just you know, click the application here. You know, I'm just gonna show you so you know it's not a virus or whatever. Cause you, some people are gonna go, "What's oh, a virus?" But it's not. Go next, next. Ah, damn it! I have to download this shit. I don't want to install it. You know, because I just installed it. You can even see I installed it. You know, so it's not a where is it? So it's not a virus or anything. You know, it's legit. I'm not going to install it again because then it's just going to you know, overwrite my uh, controls I have set already and then I'm going to have to do it again so I'm not going to do that. But once you install it, it's going to show up on your, your uh, what's it called, your desktop, DS3 tool. And this is a very simple, easy to use program. So what you want to do is you click this, you know, and it's going to show up this. But because it's just your first time, this is not going to be here. It's going to be disconnected, okay? So pretend you you didn't connect your controller in already, okay? But once you do, so let me reconnect my controller. Once you do, it's going to pop up like this, okay? But first, it's not going to recognize it. So what you want to do is you want to go to Driver Manager, okay? And it should, most, yeah, it, it will. Uh, something will pop up right here. That means it found a new hardware, okay? This is not going to be a check mark for you, though. It's going to be an X. So it's an X. What you want to do is you're going to click this. You're going to, like, you know, do this right here. You're going to check mark it, and you're going to load driver. So I'm going to load my driver, even though it's already loaded, but fuck, I'll just load it for the sake of the tutorial. It's going to load, and once it's that done, it's going to pretty much install the, the drivers it needs into your controller so, you know, you could uh, start playing. So once you've done that, you go here. This is very simple part right here. So depending on if you have a PS3 or Xbox controller or PS2, PS1, it doesn't matter. I use a PS3 controller. It's going to show up right here, the controller that you have, okay? And uh, you could use these, these pre-made controls already, or you can make your custom ones, what I would highly recommend if you guys want the best experience from the gaming with your controller. So I use custom, and what you do is very simple. You just go to create. So pretend these are, you know, Ace of Spades controls, okay? These on the left side right here, let me open this a little bit up if I can, then I can't, but you know what? You can see this, I'll put it in 720 HD or something. But anyway, left right here, these are the controls on your controller. If it's an Xbox, it's going to be different, but since I have a PS3, it's going to be this, okay? So say, you know, say you want to, you know, to go forward in Ace of Spades, you're using W, of course, okay? Unless you use arrow keys like a, you know, little kid. I hate these, and I, I cannot get you know, used to that. But my right analog stick right here on my, uh, you know, controller, I want to go straight, okay? So you're going to pretty much what you have to, it, it's very simple. You know, you go to keystroke. So this, what this is going to do, it's going to bind uh, W. So, you know, W and Ace of Spades, it's going to bind W to going straight with your analog stick. So when every time you go, you know, go straight with your right analog stick, you know, hold it forward, it's going to walk forward. So look it. So this going right, the arrow is going right. So you want to change this to keystrokes. And you're going to just change it to D. So pretty much you're just binding your keys from your keyboard to your controller. It's that simple. So the so the keys that you use in Ace of Spades, you just want to bind that. So like, uh, I think, I don't know, I don't I haven't, I haven't played Ace of Spades that long. But, you know, just say, like to reload your gun, right? Say you want to reload your gun with the square key. So keystrokes, right? Make sure it's on keystrokes. And then 
R, R for reload. So now square is for R for reload. So there you go. And pretty much whatever other controls you you want to add, you do that pretty much. I don't know the controls of Ace's faces. I don't play it that much, but you know. But if you wanted to like select your gun, you know, bind it to one for your D-pad, you know, D-pad right. So if you hit the right on your D-pad, you can go to two. It switches your weapons, you know, such like that. It's very simple. And if you want to uh, shoot your gun, it's gonna be different though. So like, uh, say you want R1 to be binded to your shoot key, so you're gonna make sure it's a mouse button, which is gonna be, it's gonna be binding to your mouse now. So, mouse button, right? Click that, and then it's gonna be a left button. So the left button, when you shoot with your mouse, that's gonna be binded to your R1. So now, R1 will shoot, and you could still use your keyboard and your mouse while you're playing the game. You could even switch off, you know? But if you want to use your controller and such, you know, pretty much just like this, it's simple. So left buttons now to R1. So when you press R1, you shoot your gun. L1, so you want to aim down your sights with L1. Mouse button. Wait, let's see. Mouse button. And right button. So now it's behind it to the right button. So when I press L1, I'll be looking down my sights. R1, shoot my gun. It's that simple. And uh, these right here, though, these are you don't really use these unless you have like those those like old old gamepad. You know when you play like. Uh, what, what's that one fighting game? I don't know. If you play like fighting games, you know, with a joystick on it and stuff, you, you, you don't need that. Unless you're going to play with that, you can use this. It's the same thing. But these are what I use keystrokes, mouse axis, mouse button. Oh, mouse axis. Forgot to tell you that. Very important. Uh, so the analog stick, right? So you want to, for your aiming, you know, for your analog stick, so you aim your gun, make sure that your right analog stick or whatever analog you're using to aim it's on mouse axis so wherever pretty much like you know how your mouse wherever you aim on your mouse and it goes there it's gonna do that so wherever you go on your right analog stick that's where your guns gonna go so like say mouse axis and this is pointing up make sure it's up okay and then this is right make sure it's okay hang on it's this keystroke still so you're gonna add this to mouse axis so right is right down is down, left is left, so on and so forth. So once you got all your keys configured, you just save it like this. So, you know, since I already made it, but you can do this, you just do this. Type in AOS or whatever you want to call it, save it, and then enable. And you always got to do enable. Every time you update the controls, you know, you have to save it and you have to click the name, save it, and enable. Okay, once you do that, this is very important too. Every time you go into game or out of game, it's always some I don't know why but it always comes back to motion joy profile demo as you can see so you always have to switch it back to the control so now it's on AOS so now you're playing AOS all you have to do is click enable boom you're set and you can just you know do this and look at I can control my desktop with my PS3 controller you know it works on any game so pretty much what it does is binding the keys and I can still use my keyboards and such you know I can still use that I can switch off you know so now when I play Ace of Spades I can you know use my controller so it's that simple hopefully you guys understood it and if you guys didn't I'm sorry uh, maybe you can give me some tips on what I should uh, improve on you know I mean uh, if you guys like this tutorial though like favorite subscribe you know I don't care just you know I just hope I can help you guys and get you guys to understand it. I mean, I know the AOS community is not getting big enough because, uh, you know, it's getting boring, but hopefully this will bring the fun back into the game and you guys will like it. And if you guys want me to make more videos in the future, uh, just comment or PM me because I'm thinking about making a, a Minecraft or more Ace of Space Let's Plays. I'm not sure. And excuse me for my stuttering in the tutorial, but yeah, hopefully you guys understood the tutorial and I'll put the links of the download, of what you can download, or you can do it by scratch like that but I'll put the links up to the download and I'll put the um, let's see the links to I'm not even going to put another link I'm just going to put the links to the download so once you download that you pretty much follow the tutorial there you go so this has been uh, Dirty Bone with another tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed like I said favorite like subscribe and this has been Dirty Boner peace yeah